It's your girl Ash and I am back back with another video and today I'm going to be watching What If Germany Won World War II by Alternate History Hub. I've been having so much fun relearning about history and Alternate History Hub is definitely another great channel and if you guys would like to check out my other history videos the link will be up at the top and I actually think I've reacted to a video from alternate history hub i'll put that link up at the top as well and if you guys haven't subscribed already what are you waiting for hit the red button so you can be a part of the family don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up enough of me talking let's get straight into this reaction world war ii transformed the destiny of mankind <laughs> Not only was it the most destructive conflict in human history, but it was Hitler the ultimate was clash of ideologies and factions, which had slowly evolved for centuries. In our timeline, after years of war, the Third Reich was obliterated, Hitler committed suicide, and a violent ideology died with him. In the aftermath, the victors, the Allies, organized the entire world in a manner which would never allow such an occurrence to happen again. They were able to shape mankind's future in their image. Today, we are globalized, connected both economically and socially. The internet, American influence, all can be tied back to the victors of that war. The reason I say this is because many don't think about the world today in any other way. No, like, it's so hard. I know, like, he's playing devil's advocate, like, a uh, what if, but it's just so hard to kind of like picture the world being another type of way you know what i mean like i honestly think that if it was any other way like it probably it probably be hell on earth honestly like that's what i honestly think way than the natural evolution of progress yet it is not if the war's outcome had been any different, Western civilization from every aspect of life would have been radically changed. What if the Allies did not defeat Nazi Germany? What if in an alternate timeline, the Third Reich through military might and conquest conquered Europe in but one that... World War II? I'm going to explore the effects of a Nazi victory on the human and global scale. How would it transform the 20th and 21st centuries? In American schools, Nazi imagery and teachings are only mentioned in brief general. But... I know this is like not to be taken seriously and it's just like a what if type of thing but there's no way that germany would have beaten the allies there's just no way but let's continue <laughs> We all know Nazi policies were anti-Semitic, racist, authoritarian, yeah, etc. Like but rarely all. is the ideology itself analyzed. In this alternate scenario, I'm not going to specifically focus on what Germans could have done differently to have won the war. This has been debated by numerous historians. What I want to focus on is what such a world would look like if Hitler's plans were allowed to be put into action. Here is one scenario. In this alternate timeline, Nazi Germany has launched a successful invasion of Europe. Britain, France, Poland, the Eastern Soviet Union, and numerous other countries all have been occupied by German troops. Somehow Germany invaded Britain, and facing overwhelming odds, even though Churchill promised not to, the British are forced to surrender or be basically annihilated. In this alternate timeline, the Third Reich consolidates control over the new land it has occupied across the continent, making any effective American incursion impossible. At first, resistance movements would fight against the Germans in puppet fascists like in Vichy, France, and the UK. Germany. But after years of strengthening control over trade and resources, the Third Reich basically starves out any opposition. The Germans in our timeline, and in this alternate one, would massacre innocent civilians in retaliation for insurgency. With this tactic and low resources, resistance would fall pretty quickly. In the Soviet Union, the war between the Russians and Germans drags into a stalemate, eventually devolving into a resistance movement as the Russians are pushed back to the Urals. How this could have occurred, I'm not going to specify, but if the Nazis' plan succeeded, then the Soviet government is pushed further into Siberia, but the bulk of the population is now under German control. Nazism cannot be registered on how we traditionally think on the political scale. It is an entirely new beast, one that takes elements from across the spectrum to reinvent society into something entirely new. Hitler's new order was to be a civilization that threw away centuries of Western teachings, including the ideas of the French Revolution, the Enlightenment, and Christianity. 
a civilization that bases everything on the spread and domination of a specific group, wow. the Aryan race. To understand a world where the Germans won World War II, we need to understand the concepts of Nazism and their horrific ideas of racial superiority and classification. If Nazi Germany won the war, they would reorganize Europe based on racial hierarchies. Since eugenics was popular, the Nazis based their policies off of genetics and ranked people off of positive and supposed inferior genes. At the top was wow. the Aryan race. The Aryans. Aryans to the Nazis were people of Germanic descent. This meant pure ethnic Germans had the highest status among the Nazi society. Just below true Aryans were Western Europeans, such as the British, Northern French, Irish, and Dutch. The Chinese and Japanese were also at... That's crazy. Could you imagine being ranked higher and lower because of your race? Like, that's crazy. Oh my god, I couldn't imagine. At this level, as Hitler declared them honorary Aryans. Below them were the Mediterranean race, Southern and Tanner Europeans such as Italians, Southern French, Spanish, and Greeks. Hitler believes Southern Europeans were I'm naturally Aryan, more lazy so I'm higher than, than you. This thought of Italian inferiority to Germans caused a lot of tension between Mussolini and Hitler. I'll talk about how this will play out later. Skipping past a few levels at the very bottom were the Untermensch. These were racial Untermensch. groups the Nazis considered too inferior or dangerous to live. These were the Slavs, such as the Poles, Russians, and Ukrainians, Jews, Roma, homosexuals, communists, yeah. etc. In this alternate timeline, if Germany was able to successfully implement Lebensraum, after decades of German control, Poland, Russia, and the Eastern Slavs would cease to exist. The wow. Slavic people of Eastern Europe would face a genocide 10 times larger than that of the Holocaust in our timeline. Mass extermination in the tens of millions. Hitler was a fan of how the United States successfully depopulated and pushed back the American Indians. And so he wanted to recreate this against the Slavs. In this alternate timeline, following a German victory, borders are redrawn arbitrarily and governments are set up in what was formerly Poland, Ukraine, and the Russian states, now with German leaders. Slavs begin to lose rights, resistance is met with entire towns being slaughtered, and Jews are immediately sent into concentration camps, as they were to- But, honestly, like, I, I get it, but I know this is like a what if, but he honestly would have needed another- um, another race, especially the Jews, because they created a lot of a lot of things they were like so smart and creative and brainstormed and i don't know i don't think that germany would have been able to do everything themselves honestly they would have eventually needed to reach out like there's no possible way they could have just create everything themselves just impossible But then again, no, maybe it's not impossible because they did create, they did make tanks and stuff during the war. And I don't think they used other race, other race to help them. Hmm be automatically killed. The Slavic people were to become enslaved and used as a mass labor force to contribute to the German war machine and farm the land if need be. But wow. first, most of the population would need to die. Wow. Laws are passed similar to Stalin's policies, causing mass starvation, and soon millions die in a massive famine. In our timeline, Hitler's plan was for over 50 million to die before colonization could begin. Damn. Over a period of a few years, once the natives no longer exist as a nation, German colonists begin moving and colonizing former Slavic lands. Germany as a country is quadrupled in size, expanding from See, France the to the center up. of Russia. The few Slavs deemed acceptable for Germanization are forced to only have children with Germans to eventually breed out the Slavic genes. The culture of these lands would be destroyed and torched. History of the people forgotten under Nazi genocide. With the mass 
massive industrial scale of the Third Reich and resistance defeated, they could easily be capable of such an atrocity. The German school systems would teach young Germans the inferiority of the Slavs, creating a new racial divide between German Aryans and enslaved Slavic people. Very similar to situations in apartheid South Africa, racial segregation and outright atrocities would occur between German colonial masters and enslaved Russians in the Ukraine colonies. Slavs would be banned from reproducing except to create new slaves. In fact, wow. across Nazi Germany, abortion would not only be legal, but mandatory for non-Aryans. It would remain illegal for Aryan mothers, as German women would be expected to reproduce as much as possible. What? Mass sterilization would be enforced against parents who gave birth to unhealthy children. Or Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine them telling you you have to give birth as much as possible? Like, are you going to get a break in between? That's crazy kids born with down syndrome or develop mental illnesses german colonists would farm the fertile lands of the ukraine and use the vast bread basket to feed a growing german population if successful nazi germany would redefine the demographics of europe and in a few decades most of the population in eastern europe would be of german descent the new order meant a complete reinvention of what it meant to be european and a member of western civilization nazi germany would be the leading dominant nation of europe and be the puppet master to the countless fascist governments of the UK, France, Italy, and Spain. Even though propaganda would boast an equal union of European nations, in reality, some nations, even fascist ones, would be lower than others. Hitler's racial criteria would determine Nazi relationships, and so German policies would favor more Aryan nations like France and Britain over Mediterranean countries like Spain and Italy. In this alternate timeline, with the war over, the Nazis would immediately rebuild Britain, and fascist Britain would become the right-hand man to the Reich. As for the Italians, even in our timeline, Mussolini knew the disdain Hitler had for Southern Europeans, and it greatly affected the relationship between the two. Mussolini's call for a unity between the Nordic and Mediterranean <laughs> races fell on deaf ears for the Nazis. In this alternate timeline, I predict Hitler simply would have tolerated Southern Europe for the sake of stability, while playing favorites with the Nordic French and British. This split would grow even larger in the following decades, becoming a culture clash between the two regions. In our timeline, the Holocaust was only supposed to be the first phase of the New Order immediate genocide of undesirables within German borders. However, these were not the only groups the Nazis wished to silence. Nazism at its core was shaped by the idea of a race united under the full allegiance to the state and only the state. Citizens were to contribute militarily and technologically to advance the German race. To Hitler and the Third Reich, any idea that took focus away from the state was an enemy any removing the jewish question was the first phase of the new order the slavs were next and after that catholicism Christian. itself or the church question hitler was born a catholic but grew to hate the church as he became an adult his views fell perfectly in line with the nazi ideology nazism viewed catholicism as not only an obstacle but a threat to the progress of the german state they despised the idea of a non-governmental force having influence over Europeans and Aryans. Before the war, Nazis closed Catholic institutions, barred Catholic messages, and arrested many members of the clergy. However, in part with his alliance with Italy and to stop instability, Hitler made a treaty with the Vatican to respect Catholic institutions. Yet to the Nazis, Catholics remained a prominent threat. In this alternate timeline after the war, the Nazis would immediately break the agreement with the Vatican. Across Germany and its occupied territories, Catholic institutions would be closed and its clergymen arrested. In Hitler's eyes, religion itself was fundamentally incompatible and dangerous to the progress of Europe. He even called those who were religious slaves. At the time, the Nazis had to put up a face of being Protestant Christians. Wow. But secretly, the highest ranks, like Joseph Goebbels, despised religion and Catholicism. Yet they decided to postpone any action until after the war. They believed it was a foreign invention which promoted Jewry and made Europeans weak-minded and too merciful. Heydrich Himmler even wrote, We live in an era of the ultimate conflict with Christianity. It is a part of the mission of the SS to give the German people in the next half century the non-Christian ideological foundations on which to lead and shape their lives. This task does not consist solely in overcoming an ideological opponent, but must be accompanied at every step by a positive impetus. 
In this case, that means the reconstruction of the German heritage in the widest and most comprehensive sense. In this alternate timeline, the Third Reich would have used everything to slowly strangle Christianity in its borders. Damn. Propaganda to paint Catholics at first as enemies of Aryans and Germans, and even secret violence against Catholic leaders. The same tactics which divided Europeans Seven, just as they did an between Slavs and school. Germans. Over the decades, Catholicism would be stripped from Nazi Germany. Most of the Catholic Poles would have been killed in the there hunger policies. So in German Catholic well. regions, simple Nazi propaganda would be used to snuff out the church. Laws banning Catholic education and press would be enacted. After the Catholic Church, the Third Reich would actively discourage Christianity itself. And if decades of propaganda would work, they could create a generation of loyal, non-Christian Germans. Nazis would teach that the religion was a destructive, brainwashing Jewish force which weakened native Europeans. Some Nazis even wished to replace Christianity with neo-paganism. But in this timeline, religion would be replaced with loyalty to the Nazi regime, into the race. The swastika would replace the cross across much of German Europe. This wow. scenario is going to be a part of a new series. I don't know how many parts it will be, but I want to focus in detail on every aspect of life in this alternate scenario. I don't want to rush it. World War II was a defining moment that decided the history of Western civilization. In the Allied victory, Nazism was destroyed and never returned to power. But had the victory gone to Germany, the modern world would have evolved and taken a much darker turn. Yes. Over the next few videos, I'll Very explore dark. in length one out of the infinite possible scenarios if Hitler had won the war. Like on Facebook and subscribe if you have not done so. This is Cody from the Alternate History Hub. Yeah, um, it definitely would have took the turn, it definitely would have took the turn, um, for being very, very dark, um, you know, things aren't great now, but they sure would be way worse, way worse if Germany would have won, um, World War II. I don't even think other countries probably we would have been able to go visit Germany, that probably would have been, like, non-existent. Non-non-existent. I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. How do you guys feel? Um, you know, this is basically just, like, a what if. It's not really a, you know, serious, serious video or anything like that. So just comment down below what you think and give your girl a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next video bye fam